The artists, philosophers, inventors, and writers of the Renaissance contribute to the rebirth of creativity. Their contributions can still be seen in much of our modern life. The Medici family was one of the most wealthiest families in Italy, and they are patrons, which means they helped finance the arts. The Medici family also appreciated the arts, so they paid amazing artists to do what they love, which enabled them to make masterpieces. They ran the city of Florence and have a great influence on the history of the city. This is the coat of arms of the Medici family, granted by Louis XI in 1465. Follow the star Castiglione died at age 51 from the plague. Cesarino Serratus was a writer and a great Renaissance humanist and scholar. He was an Italian author primarily known for the Book of Codier, which was written in dialogue and was about how gentlemen and ladies should act. This is one of Castiglione's most famous quotes, and it shows why people criticize his writing because it's more about outer beauty than inner goodness. Before he became a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Donatello was one of the greatest artists before Michelangelo. Donatello died at 80 and was certainly the most influential artist in the 15th century in Italy. He worked with bronze, stone, and wood, and his earliest work was the Marble of David, which was the first freestanding nude. Michelangelo died at age 89 and was a painter, architect, poet, and one of the greatest sculptors of all time. His statue of David became the symbol of Florence's glorious political heritage. He is best known for the majestic art on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, and artists today say it could be one of the greatest masterpieces ever. Leonardo da Vinci was a creative genius for art, engineering, architecture, and inventions. He is best known for the paintings such as Mona Lisa and The Last Supper. The Mona Lisa still raises questions today because of her slight grin people don't know what emotion she's feeling. He left numerous notebooks containing thousands of pages of drawings of architecture, the human face, physics, and engineering. You might need a mirror to read his notebooks because he wrote from right to left, and some say this was because he was lefty, so he didn't want to smudge his writing. His artistic breakthroughs and perspectives changed the vision of future painters. Raphael was an artist who was primarily known for the School of Athens. The Mona Lisa inspired many of his arts, such as Marriage of the Virgin. His real name is Raffaello Sanzio, and his favorite subject was Madonna, but unfortunately, his dad died when he was 11. His thoughtful humanism later inspired poetry and law. Niccolò Machiavelli was a writer, and he believed that a leader should be more feared than loved if he could not have both. He was not concerned with what was morally right, but what was politically effective. His most famous book is The Prince, and just like most of his books, he begins with the idea that most people are selfish, fickle, and corrupt. The Prince is about how to acquire and maintain political power. John von Eyck lived to be 30 and was the first great Flemish painter. He greatly encouraged the teachings of Greek, Latin, and Hebrew. He wrote The Praise of Folly, which is an essay written in Latin, which is considered to be the most notable work of the Renaissance. Sir Thomas More was born in London, England, and he was beheaded at age 57 because he refused to bow down to the king because of his religious beliefs. He also believed that people needed to read the Bible. As 
As you can see, he uses intensive colors in such paintings as Adoration of the Lamb and Arnolfini Wedding. Sir Thomas More is the author of Utopia. Utopia is a book about a perfect island with no crime or war and a political system, and there is little use for money. The main idea of the book is that we need more discipline rather than liberty. William Shakespeare's profession, which is listed in many documents, is acting. But he is considered the greatest playwriter of all time. Three fun facts about Shakespeare is that he lived and died in the same city, he never attended a university, and he lived through the Black Death. This is where Shakespeare's plays took place, and his plays displayed a deep understanding of human beings. Some of his most famous plays are Macbeth, Hamlet, and Romeo and Juliet, but by far the greatest story tells of the assassination of Julius Caesar. His works display a masterful command of the English language. Johann Gutenberg died at 70 and was from Mainz, Germany. He invented the printing press, which helped to make the spread of ideas a whole lot easier and books became a lot cheaper to buy. It changed the world because people were now able to have literature, newspapers, and books. The people of the Renaissance didn't just influence their time, but our time as well.